This is your well. You read it. Ryan's well. Yeah. Tended by Ryan H. Yeah. For, For the community of Angola. Yeah. Our story begins here, in Kempville, Ontario, a small country town about an hour south of Ottawa, Canada's capital. It was just a regular day when six-year-old Ryan Hurljack joined his friends in the grade one class at Holy Cross School. Nancy Prest was in her first year of teaching and wanted to inspire her young students about their place in the world and maybe plant the seeds of sharing and caring. It was during Lent, and we were, uh, all the grade ones were saving pennies for the uh, Lenten missions, and I had a sheet of paper from the vice principal that said how much money you could save for what would give the children in Africa. And Brian was really interested in the well. He was interested in the water and that people didn't have water. So he said, how much was that well again? On the sheet it said $70. He says, I'm going to save for that. And she explained that people were dying because they didn't have clean water. And in that just gave me a bad feeling inside. Because if you, I just closed my eyes and opened them again, in that classroom I would see more than 75 or even 100 things they didn't have. So I went home and begged and begged and begged my mom and dad for, for $70. Sit back. Grab a Ryan is the middle son in the Hurljack family where it's pretty normal for one or the other to come up to their parents with an unusual request. The Hurljacks are charitable people, but they didn't take Ryan's request seriously at all. He went on and on about how people were dying because they didn't have clean water, and he was desperate. He wanted $70 right there and then that he could take back to school. So we thought, oh, you know, isn't that nice? What a nice thing to do, but, but he was six. And so basically we discounted him. They really ignored me at first. I but I just brought it up again and again and again and finally they said they said okay we'll give you a chance but we won't but we won't give you the money like here's seventy dollars so we sat down with him and we explained to him that seventy dollars was an awful lot of money and that we wouldn't be able to give it to him however if he was serious about it and if he wanted to earn the money um, that we would help him by giving him some extra chores to do on top of the, his regular chores